I'll guide you through how you can overlay videos in CapCut. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's do this. Firstly, what you need to do is go and open up CapCut. And then what you can do is either go and open up an existing project or go and create a new one. In this case, I'm going to go and create a new one. And so then what you need to do is go and select the video which you want to be in the background because the video we're going to overlay will therefore be in the foreground. So tap on new project and select the video which you want to be in the background which I've now done and I'll then go and click on add in the bottom right and there we go I've now got this timeline with the video which I want in the background just here. So now what we need to do to go and add the other video is make sure you haven't gone and select the video to, if you're not sure if you've selected it or not. Just go and click on the back button in the bottom left if there is one and the video has now been deselected. After you deselected the video if you needed to, then what you need to do is go to the bottom of CapCut and you need to go and click on overlay just here. So tap on it and then we have the option to go and add overlay. So tap there and your camera roll will then go and open up. And now what you need to do is go and select the video which you want to be in the foreground and overlay. So in this case, it's this one in the top. So I'll click there and then tap add in the bottom right. The video will then go and be added as you can see in the preview screen. And then what you can do is go and resize it as as you can see at the moment, it's quite big. So to do that, just make sure the video is selected. Mine is because it's got that green outline around it. And if it isn't, just go and tap on it in the timeline just like this. So it's got that white box around it in the timeline and in the preview it's then got the green outline and then you can just use your fingers to go and pinch so use two fingers to pinch and just drag it wherever you want it to be so for example i may want it sort of like a face cam in the bottom left like this and then i can play it back and as you can see there it is and then when you go and click on the back button in the bottom left like this it will then go and make uh, the video a bit smaller just so it takes up less space for the timeline and you can add more things like text music and even other videos to overlay so you could tap on overlay then add overlay and add another and then if you want to go and edit the video again you just go and tap on that sort of upside down droplet icon as you can see there we've got a red line and then sort of a, a preview of the overlay video tap there and it'll then go and expand it again and then when you want to go and save the video you just need to go and press on the save button in the top right like this and it'll then say exporting 